May the best lords win. Shining bright like a diamond. One hit. Come on, one hit. Ah! What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel. My name is Shanks. In today, we are playing a 2v2 matchup on the beautiful map Anorian in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22, the version 2.9, the version 3.0 will be coming out very soon. And we will get to play double Isengard. What is better than one Isengard? Yes, two Isengards. Okay. It's build the army worthy of the White Wizard, Sariman. Okay, I like to open with Double Furnace in almost every situation when I play Isengard in a 2v2 match. Because it gives me like the eco boost I need to be a beast in the mid to lead game. And also, to be honest, I prefer to play 2v2s more than 1v1s. I believe 2v2s, and that's my opinion, are the most fun game mode when you play with Mewan. Just like the communication with your ally and the synergy with like the two factions. I mean, of course, there's like not the best example because we get to play two Isengards, but normally you have like two separate factions and you have like a crazy synergy, you know? Okay, let's use Warchant and catch those souls just before they can make it to us. Okay? Okay. Oh, it's a big mistake from him to fight against me. <laughs> you can't win this fight, my friend. You can't. Even if the Hobbit, you can't. Uruks with the Warchant are so strong that they can beat any unit in a 1v2 situation. That's the reason why Isengard has only one starting unit. And factions like Gondor, Rohan and Mordor have two peasants, two soldiers and two orcs. Quality beat quantity. I mean, now that's not the best start into the game from him. He was even using heal around this area, you know. I'm And I'm in a fair and well spot, right? I want to keep them only away from my own settlements, so which is very, very amazing for me. And look at this. Now he needs to disengage. But, you know, he was feeding me so much resources. I mean, now you might be asking yourself, yourself but why and how? Because if you play good against evil, uh, the enemy lumber mills are way more valuable in compared to your farms. And Isengard getting money for free at the beginning of the game is going to be a very hard situation you will be finding yourself in in the mid to late game because we will have lords very very soon and then later on we will have Saruman and combos and Gondor can't do all of that at the same time with Isengard and to be honest that's a very good matchup for the evil side team too I mean, for the other side team too I mean they have like Gondor and Isengard combination I mean I always say it because it's true the combination of good and evil in this map is just too good, you know? Because you, you imagine you have like Gondor Knights and your ally can warchant them. Imagine that. You have like Gondor Knights with shields, heavy armor and forge blades, and then you get the 50-50 damage armor boost on them from your ally. Dude, the amount of damage you can deal is tremendous. Not even kidding. It's just too powerful. They are bringing the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Peregrine Took. You full of a took. You full of a took, Peregrine Took. Get crippled. Oh, he's not getting one shotted, really? I mean, he's level two, that's why. Take this, Peregrine Took. Nice. Ooh. All right. So the earlier we recruit lords, the better it is. Because now we can creep with him the troll him, get level three. And level three doesn't only give you a huge damage boost, of course, but also gives you like a huge self defense potential. So now we can, when we get level 3, we can play extremely aggressively with, with the Lords, and we should be in a very good spot. Uruk Pit coming up next, and then we can start making two crossbowmen, one Uruk Kai. So basically, you need to invest 1000 into your Uruk Pit, either two crossbowmen and one Uruk Kai, or five Uruk Kai, before you get it to level 2, which is the requirement for a pikeman. Beautiful. And also, you want to be, you know, using your workers. They can also be scouters. When you play evil faction, you have like very cheap scouting units. The lumber mill workers, they cost only 25 each. You can send them throughout the entire map. And this way you get more vision control. Again, vision control is very important because it gives you a higher reaction time. You will see the enemy movement before it's too late. So now they are trying to come to this spot. Hopefully my ally will be able to defend himself. I mean, he's work riders. It's good though, you know. Like, the combination is very important, so he's going for the calf, I'm going for the infantry. It's pretty good. Yeah, 
Lord's level almost 3. He's going to be level 3. Almost level 4 actually. After creeping this troll here. And I have almost the Palantir too. I can also give Palantir to my ally. You can also give industry to your ally. So basically the team play potential is definitely great in this game. Once you get to play with a person multiple times. You have like a. You no, know, like a, a sympathy, you know, your ally's playstyle, you can kind of try to match his playstyle, sport him a little bit, he can sport you, all of that good stuff, you know? Give me experience points. Uh oh, uh oh, can I kill you? One more hit? Oh no, okay, it was close, but not close enough. Let's recruit some pikemen, and then before the upgrades, we can also go for uh, Zed, Saruman. I can use Palantir, but I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I want to use Palantir, okay. Let's do this, so you can chase down the enemy units. The Palantir is giving additional movement speed, 20% more movement speed, which, I mean, basically, guys, in VFM1, every cavalry has the same speed. Uh-oh, is this Lord's level 3? I don't know, let me find out. Oh, he didn't get the last hit with the Lords. <laughs> He's not level 3. May the best Lords win. Go Carnage, Lords! Take this, take this, take this, and get me level 5. Oh my goodness, my Lords is better than yours. Nice. I mean, this was a Lords imposter. He was kind of imitating to be Lords, you know? Like, what is this called when somebody's trying to be you? You know, that's exactly imp impersonating, right? Impersonating. Dude, my English is becoming professional, by the way. I know some of you guys flame me always in the comment section down below. Shanks, you are saying this, that's a mistake. Shanks, you are saying that, that, that's a mistake. You flame me. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Because here, guys, guess what? We are not in the English lesson, okay? And everybody in UK and in USA can speak English perfectly. And me not speaking it perfectly makes me more unique and outstanding. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Thank you, guys. Of course, when I, when I make a couple of mistakes, you can let me know in the comment section down below. But then, don't go ham on me if I make the mistake again, you know? I read all the comments, by the way. Somebody was flaming me because of the... Uh, because I say in compare. Apparently, that's not how you say it. You, you should say compared to. Or compared to. I don't know. I don't remember anymore, <laughs> you know? But at least... You know what I'm talking about. It, as long as you know my standing point and as long as you understand what I'm trying to see, I'm fine. I'm fine. A new power is rising and victory is at hand. We have the White Wizard Sariman on the field. And that's where the fun begins. Now we have these two unstoppable Isengard heroes. Yes, Isengard is only two heroes, Lourdes and Sariman, but trust me, they are both tremendously strong. Like the amount of impact Lourdes and Saruman can have. So basically you need to understand. Lourdes is a counter hero. He can shut down an enemy hero. Which causes problems with the cripple ability. He's a very strong swordman. Has leadership and pillage. All of that in one hero for 1400. Right? In most cases Lourdes is better than Legolas. Better than Gimli. Better than Aragorn even. Has a stronger leadership. The combat experience is not that important. It's about the damage. Has the aura. You know the crippling effect. Which is quite scary to fight against. And has also the carnage, all of that for way less than what Aragorn costs or Gimli costs, you know? By the way, my ally is popping off, guys. <laughs> His war riders is kind of smashing everything. And then you have Saruman, uh, a hero that can have like a long range fireball, poke damage, which chunks everything. Oh man, look, my, <laughs> my wargs are hungry. They are glowing, shining bright like a diamond. And you wanna fight this? Are you sure about that? I can control you, my friend. I can control you. Oh, cancel it, cancel it. Oh, but I... Oh, what? <laughs> I thought he's gonna run away. Okay, the Isengard player just got his lord, so we need to be careful. Run! I don't know if he can run, though. I have, like, no clue if he can run or not. Control, control, control. I didn't get the control of the second one! Oh, the Boromir is knocking my... That's... Oh, man. Since when can Boromir knock down a Saruman? Now you might say in the comment section down below, but Shanks. Even Wormtongue knocked down Sauron and actually killed him. But only because he was not paying attention. Rest in peace, Saruman the White. I would also lose my lords, I believe, guys. <laughs> I will also lose him. It's like the worst possible outcome. You see, the impact of the enemy lords, he cripples you. You can't play the game anymore. If any one of you guys plays the League of Legends game, there is a hero called Morgana. And she's like a bind, like a Q ability, which is a binding. 
in with this binding <laughs> you know she can make you feel like you are afk from the keyboard guys if i can save my lords i will i will donate a million dollars oh I, I couldn't save him okay i couldn't save my lords so i don't have to donate <laughs> i don't have that much money anyway all right let's go ham boys armory demolished so unfortunately we lost both the isengard heroes because i was too hyped you know <laughs> i was like isengard heroes are so strong and then two minutes later i lose both of them so now yeah it's it might sound like a lie but it's actually not the only reason i lost them is because of the enemy faction is also uh, lords lords counters all heroes in the game and this actually was kind of bad for me to be honest because i'm losing my heroes and having to invest all my money into reviving them is going to make me now lose a lot of tempo and speed i mean this gondor should be rushing my base non-stop by the way my ally was having no pikemen on the field like he didn't have pikemen since the beginning of the game the pikemen next to him is from me so the base from isengard at the bottom left side is kind of on a silver tablet you know you can all you can eat buffet you know what i mean so what the gondor player needs to do is get like three gondor knights with shields heavy armor and forged plates ask the ally for the war chant he go in the base from my ally my ally will lose immediately his entire base in a, in a few minutes it's like a buffet you know all you can eat okay so um, before we're gonna make a move we need to wait for our own heroes Saruman and lords they should be there very soon Lords, uh, again, the revive time of a hero depends on the level. So a hero you lose at level 1 will be revived way sooner and way faster in compared to... Not in compared, compared to... Oh, I'm learning from my mistakes, I'm like Tony Stark. Compared to hero who is, you know, which is level 8 or 9 or 10, you know. The higher the level is, the more recruit time you have to invest. And, you know, basically people are mistaking when they are saying... There is only one resource in the game. The resource at the bottom left side of your screen, that's not the only resource in the game. Time is even more important than the money you make from your resource buildings. Trust me, you need to be efficient and speed is the key to victory. A new power is rising in victory. Oops, oops, I was hitting my microphone. Sorry for that, guys. Sorry if I was blowing up your eardrums. It was not intended you know in order to have like a better sound quality i was upgrading my microphone like a year ago and now i don't have a headset microphone anymore i have like a standing microphone right next to my face but it's so big you know that i kind of get to it sometimes oh my ally going for a huge trample he has level 5 war rider something you don't see very often oh but this army has no leadership this lord is not level 5 oh he buys the camp are you out of your mind are you out of your mind we have triple leadership now, Saruman, Lourdes and Warchant, so we should be able to win this. Like, I'm telling you, with this much leadership, one combo from us can easily kill three combos from the enemy units, enemy player. Again, very important, beefy me one, quality goes over quantity. Very, very important. I mean, they have the bottom leadership, but I think it's okay. Let's kill the Lourdes first. No! My Saruman! I didn't want it to be honest with you. I wanted to wait for... Good, I need to be focused a little bit more. Rest in peace, Saruman. I have no heal. No heal. Oh, he just came back too, man. Oh, man. That's so bad for me. Oh, man. Noob wizard. <laughs> I'm a noob wizard player. Okay. <laughs> but it's fun, though. It's fun. It's okay. We can still, we can still win this fight. If Lourdes leadership, that's all it matters. Oh, you are not getting away from me, Boromir. No, 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 no. Lourdes, show them what was done in the films. Go, Lourdes. Look, they are, our Lourdes are sprinting. You see the white animation? One hit. Come on, one hit. Ah! No way. How? No way. Please. No. Sean Bean. No, man. He died also in Game of Thrones, man. Oh man, okay. It's whatever, dude. It's whatever, dude. I'll let you live this one last time. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> this guy with his, uh, you know, LMM in 21, 2137, they are spamming this. You might switch it too. And if I stream, I have all points. We have almost the ring. Uh, we can keep, I think we can keep pushing. I don't know if we are. I have like only one pikeman though. That's kind of scary. I think, I, you know, the 
Counter play can actually come in clutch, but the positioning of the pikeman is very important. So what Isengard needs to do is he needs to kill my pikeman. Then his ally can clean up everything. Does he have Gan He has Gandalf. I mean, good luck playing with Gandalf against two lords, man. Good luck playing with Gandalf when there are two lords. Oh, he's coming. He's like, maybe they're not paying attention. Of course we do, my friend. You shall not pass, Gandalf the White. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing your own coat against you, my friend. You will die so badly, Gandalf. You will die so badly, Gandalf. I will have Rain out, out of that. Let's use Warchant. Oh, he crippled. Look, my ally crippled Boromir. Double cripple is so strong. Double cripple is kind of crazy, dude. I thought Isengard, double Isengard would be nice, would be bad, but to be honest, double cripple is kind of crazy. Then you can shut down not one, but two heroes. I mean, they killed my lords too, but I take this trade every day of the week. We killed his Gandalf, he, we will kill his Boromir, we kill his lords too. That's gonna be it, boys. GG well played. Dude, double Isengard. What is better than one Isengard? Indeed, two Isengards. We made a lot of mistakes in this game, but it was quite fun game, to be honest with you. You know, I like that one. Combination of evil and evil. Two lords to rule them all. Everything is getting demolished. And GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.